Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, I appreciate this opportunity for this committee to have this important hearing uh, regarding TikTok and its effect on the American people, especially the American children and the potential effect, not potential, but the effects that it has had and may have in the future when it comes to our democracy and misinformation and disinformation uh, that permeates on TikTok. It's unfortunate that uh, I think most Americans or most parents think that TikTok is this innocent little thing where kids get on there and they do a little dance or something like that. But TikTok is much, much more as some of my colleagues, and I thank them for bringing up some of these serious issues, literally life and death issues that TikTok is right in the middle of. Um, and also um, what I'd like uh, the witness to acknowledge is that it appears that uh, Ms. Kamek, my colleague, uh, brought up those two posters and since then, uh, TikTok has taken them down since then, not before then. Uh, are you aware of that, uh, Mr. Chu? I was briefed during the break that they are taken down. Okay. okay. Um, how do you feel about the fact that they were, it was up for apparently 40 some days, 41 days, and yet in the middle of this hearing, it was brought directly to your attention, and as a result, it has been taken down so quickly? It goes to show the enormous challenge that we have to make sure that Although the vast majority of our users come for a good experience, we, we need to make sure that bad actors don't post violative yes. content. Yes, and the way, Mr. Chu, that you can make sure is that you can make sure that you choose to invest more resources, more money into more ability to pull down damaging and deadly information from your platform. Are you investing more and more and more every day into bringing down that kind of content? That's my question. Are you? Uh, yes, uh, and I'm committed to investing more uh, in, this, in this regard to stay on top of the growth. Right here in the United States, many, many languages are used and spoken. For example, TikTok in the United States is being used in many languages. Specifically, when it comes to Spanish language, are you dedicating more resources today than you did months ago, years ago, on making sure that you are combing through that content to make sure that if content is dangerous or damaging or deadly, that you are bringing it down as quickly as possible. Uh, yes, we are investing in more Spanish language uh, content moderation. And yes, we will, once we identify okay. the violative content, we'll take it down as soon and as possible. Thank you. And your testimony today isn't the only opportunity for you to uh, commit to answering questions to this committee. So I'd like you to forward to this committee Again, I'm not asking for trade secrets, but I would like to get some semblance of understanding as to how much you are investing with the number of bodies, the number of people, the number of resources in making sure that you are investing more in pulling down content that is either deadly or dangerous on your platform. Can you forward that to the committee? In I will check with my team and future? get back to you on this. Thank call. you very much. Appreciate that opportunity. Um, as was mentioned earlier, uh, it might sound a little funny, but you have, in fact, been one of the few people to unite this committee, uh, members, Republicans, and Democrats, uh, to be in agreement that we are frustrated with TikTok. We're upset with TikTok. And yes, you keep mentioning that there are industry issues that not only TikTok faces, but others. You remind me a lot of Mike Zuckerberg. Uh, he, when he came here, I said to my staff, he reminds me of Fred Astaire, good dancer with words. And you are doing the same today. A lot of your answers are a bit nebulous. They're not yes or no. So I'd like to ask you a question. Yes or no? Is your revenue going up at TikTok month over month or year over year? Uh, yes, our revenue is going up okay. year over year. And with that, some of the answers I'd like you to forward this committee is, are you investing more and more money into making sure that content that is dangerous and or deadly, you're investing more and more resources in that aspect of your expenditures and your commitment to your users and to your, your organization? Yes, I commit to that. that we, will, we are investing more and we will continue to do that. Okay. My last question is this. Um, are you a Chinese company? TikTok is a company that's now headquartered in Singapore and Los Angeles. Okay. Our, we are not available in mainland China. Our users are in other countries around the world. Okay. Is there a corporation that has any authority above TikTok? TikTok is a subsidiary of ByteDance, which is founded by a Chinese founder. Uh -huh. yes. And ByteDance is a Chinese company? Well, 
Biden owns many businesses that operate in China. Is it or is it not a Chinese company? Uh, Congressman, the way we look at it, it was founded no, by no, Chinese entrepreneurs. No, no, no. I'm not asking you how you look at it. Fact. Is it a Chinese company or not? For example, Dell is a company. It's an American company. They have ac- activities all over the world. Is it a Chinese company? I frequently have these discussions with others on what is a company that is now global. That, that's okay. I prefer you answer the question and stop dancing verbally on it. Madam Chair, my time has expired. Thank you very much.